Praise the name of the Lord. How have you been? My name is Laura Jumba. Karibu ni sana uh, to another episode of All Things God. Can you believe it that we are already in the last week of January? Our God is truly faithful. Uh, before I start, I'd even like to ask the Spirit of God to take control as we continue in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, today I want to talk to the ladies. Ladies, ladies, I hope you are tuning in. I also have a passion for ladies and um, recently I've been meeting some few of my friends and there is something that I pick from many ladies when I speak to them, when I interact with them. Many ladies feel that they are not enough. So I'm just here to tell you that you are enough. So that's the title of my message today. That's what we are going to talk about today. I don't know why the enemy has put it in our hearts that we need to be in a certain way, to look a certain way, to be a certain way, you know, to walk a certain way, to talk a certain way, to have a certain height, to have a certain weight for you to be acceptable or for you to be enough. Um, news flash for you, my dear. There is no, There is nothing like certain or ideal because everyone is struggling one way or another so you'd rather just be happy the way you are of course i'm not saying that just stay the way you are if you're not happy you can work on yourself yeah you can become better but now be where be happy right now where you are in the name of jesus christ now i want uh, us to read a verse psalms 139 24 says i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful i know that full well the psalmist is saying that uh, god's works are wonderful there is nothing uh, th- you know you cannot correct god's work yeah so as a human being especially the ladies that is where we find that um we find that the society has made us to believe certain things and at the end of the day we find that we we feel that we are not enough we feel like we need to change something for us to fit in so today i just came to tell you that my dear you are okay yeah just uh love yourself the way you are actually the word of god says um um that when you love yourself you know the lord commands us to love uh, our neighbors as we love ourselves so the love has to come with you first you have to start by loving yourself first for you to give out the love most of the time you find that um as women there's a day i was saying just in this broadcast that uh, women are atmospheres wherever you are there's something that you will give out whatever you will give out is who you have taught yourself to be you know who you have told yourself that you are every now and then when you tell yourself you're not beautiful when you tell yourself uh, this and that about yourself then at the end of the day you find that um you, you will not feel that you are okay with yourself and that is exactly what you will give out uh, when you go to a woman's home especially in the home you know at work women put on a hat you know at in church maybe you put on a different hat depending with where you are but when you go in someone's home that is when you really know this is the kind of person i'm talking to because there you are relaxed there you are um you are relaxed and you are free yeah so that is who you are especially when you are at home so as a woman you need to understand that what who you are is who you give out and you need to love yourself so that people can even love you you know sometimes if we, we want to find validation from people we want to find validation from men we want to find validation from our parents you know uh, it is so funny that we are seeking validation from people who don't even know themselves you know how tricky that is that you are looking at someone to validate you and that someone does not know themselves so that is why you need to look at the word of god in the word of god so that you know who you are that is why i came here today just for us to look in the word of god and see what does god say about you um god has a grace for everyone yeah he he has given you something that um he has enabled you in a certain area he has a space for everyone god has a rest for everyone he has a place for everyone and he has a place for everyone so what am i saying you know run your own race yeah be in your own place and you know feel occupy whatever god has told you to occupy occupy that space most of the time you find that we look for validation in things like makeup clothing you know 
the th- the material things you know what car do i drive you know where do i live so those are the things that sometimes validate us but we don't need to get validation from those things you know you need to look in the inside build yourself from the inside and from the word of god how will you build yourself from the inside you need to read the word of god renew your mind with the word of god day in day out until you believe what the lord says about you so today I just came to tell you that you are enough yeah just the way you are yeah of course as i've said you can improve on yourself you can become better but do it for yourself don't do it for other people because uh, uh, you know as proverbs 31 says it says that charm is deceitful and beauty is passing but a woman who fears the lord she shall be praised you know beauty is passing it will pass away by the way the things that you want to kill yourself for the things that you want to for you to become it will pass away you know you will not be 20 forever you will not be 30 forever you will not be 40 forever you know time will pass you know time and chances happen to us all and season and times come so yes work on yourself so that even during your uh, youthful time you 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 are productive you feel the best about yourself but that is not all that life is yeah you need to look on the inside uh, there's a day i was talking about purpose find out why was i born yeah and put your energy there put your energy to fulfill why you came here on earth put your energy to live a legacy here on earth yeah not on things that will pass away in the mighty name of jesus christ I want to read a verse here. Uh, First Peter three three says, "Your beauty should not come from outward endowment, uh, such as elaborate hairstyles and wearing of gold jewelry uh, or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of the gentle and acquired spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight." I will repeat, your beauty should not come from outward endowment, such as elaborate hairstyle and wearing of gold, jewelry, or fine clothes. Rather, it should, it should be uh, that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. So, woman of God. I'm insisting uh, in women because I know that is why we, that is where women sometimes um, we compete with each other. You know, tunaskilia uh, wengine wivu. Yeah, you even want to snatch what is of another because uh, for you to feel like uh, you have arrived. No, that is where, not where we need to get our validation. Our validation should be from the inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. So what do you look at when you look at yourself? What do you see, by the way, when you look at yourself in the mirror? What do you see? Or who do you see? Who are you in Christ? Yeah, so when you walk around, what do people pick? when you are around them you know when you when you have a low self esteem and you walk around people people will tell people will tell that you don't love yourself enough by the way you're carrying yourself by the way you're talking by the way you you're even uh, treating other people people can tell a person who is confident about themselves and a person who is not you know wants to be validated all the time or gets validation when you when you praise them they are okay when you correct them or you criticize them they are not okay you know you, you need to be a person because life is not a destination it's a journey sometimes you will be corrected sometimes you will make a mistake when you are corrected the way you behave can tell if you are if you know who you are in Christ or if you you are insecure about yourself so today I just came to tell you that you are enough my dear you are enough there is nothing you can add on yourself to become better yeah you can just work on your character you know there are things that um um can make you become better in life can make you live a better life yeah you can work on your character you can work on yourself go to the gym you know do whatever you want to do but don't do it for other people do it for yourself so that you feel better about yourself and so that you can glorify god even in that situation yeah um know yourself and respect yourself respect yourself when you're around people 
that will go a long way. So um, you should also know who you are in Christ. First Corinthians six nineteen says, "Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, who you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's." So you are bought with a price. You are not of your own. Of course, you are God's. And that is why I told you, take care of yourself and let God get the glory. Let God get the glory. Um, Romans 8.37, it says, um, Yet in all things, we are more than conquerors through, uh, through him who loved uh, us. For I am persuaded, neither death nor life, angels, no principalities, no powers, no the things present, no things to come, no height, no death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. What, what do I mean uh, when I read this verse? That you should only depend on the love of God. And when you understand that nothing can separate you from the love of God, then you will start loving yourself the way the Lord loves you. You know, um, someone was telling me, if I, you can only love yourself the way you love other people or treat yourself the way you treat other people, then you, you, you will even become better. Or sometimes we treat ourselves so badly that if you treat your neighbor the way you treat yourself, there is no one who can be around you. So ask yourself, how are you treating yourself? How are you judging yourself? Do you treat yourself in a way that, no, you know, if you did that to your neighbor, then no one can even be around you? Love on yourself, love on yourself, love on yourself. Because you, the love has to come from you first before going out. You know, sometimes we have done things in our past, we have been in places and the enemy uses guilt, he uses fear, he uses condemnation uh, to make you live a life that is substandard, to make you live even be below your standard, yeah? to make you, every time you are around people, you think, hey, I did ABCD, I am not worth, you know, to put you down. Today I came to tell you that whoever is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. Let go of everything that was there before. Let go of everything that you did before and allow Christ to help you become the best that you can be so that you might not live in guilt in fear condemnation you feel ashamed of yourself you feel like you're not worth my dear you are worth everything you know if christ died for you then you are worth you know if it was you are the only person in the world that christ uh, was to die for imagine you could have done it you are that precious so today i just came to to remind you as a woman uh, as a lady as a mom as a grandmother, as a young lady, a teenager, know right now that you are enough. Yeah, Don't find validation from the outside. Find validation from within. And by within, I mean that through Christ Jesus, that read the word of God so that he can validate you. Read the word of God so that he can help you come out from where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. The strive to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Uh, I will come and talk about Proverbs 31 woman one day, but today I will just read Proverbs 31, 29. Many daughters have done well, but you, exam the, you, you excel them all. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. So, when you're doing everything, let your fear of the Lord be the thing that praises you. You know, not your figure, not your height, not your complexion, not your, you know. Sometimes I, I have a friend, uh, she's a very dark lady and she's so beautiful. But her color only makes her feel like she's not enough, you know. Most of the time she asks me, Laura, you know, uh, how do I look? You know, what do you think of me? She's always insecure about herself. And I've always affirmed her and told her, you know, uh, I wish you knew how beautiful your skin in your your skin is, yeah. So as a woman, kindly uh, let these things that are um, you did not make yourself, and who say that uh, brown is beautiful more than the dark one, the dark skin, yeah. So just love yourself the way you are. 
you can imagine yourself ka ungekuwa mweupe ungekuwa na kaje <laughs> or if you are dark ungekuwa na kaje so every complexion is beautiful just depending with how you take it so just love yourself the way you are yeah? uh, the word of god says give her of the f- uh, fruit of her hands and let her own works uh, praise let her own works praise her in the gates so uh Proverbs 31 woman how on works will praise her in the gates as the topic says you are enough work on yourself love yourself build yourself and love the people around you uh, and the people around you will be happier when you love yourself when you respect yourself when you know yourself the people around you will be happier to be around you but when you are full of doubt you your esteem is low yeah you always asking for affirmation someone who is around you must always make you feel better about yourself then no one wants to be around such a person because you're draining their energy yeah so you need to know who you are you need to know who you are and then stand tall you know you are a child of the most high you are a child of the most high and know who you are and stand tall for the glory of God. So my parting shot, I will say this according to Songs of Solomon 4:3. You are all together beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you. I will repeat. Songs of Solomon 4:7 it says, "You are all together beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you." I'll ask you again, whose report do you believe? Is it of the society? those who tell you how you should be or will you believe the word of god that tells you you are lovely you are beautiful you are fearfully and wonderfully made so today that was just what i wanted to ask you whose report will you believe until next time god bless you my name is laura jumba kindly share like subscribe comment and let everyone know about this channel god bless you